Hi, I'm Caleb, and I'm from upstate New York, and you're watching the Omar Gosh. Give me a kiss! What is good, fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. Did trim up the beard a little bit and the hair. Got out of the hospital. I've got still a little sticky things. Got to, yeah, try getting that off and it won't come off. Speaking of trying to take things off, she's smiling right now. She's just like enjoying this. These were the worst and I can't get them off for nothing. So yeah, I got these things because they were hooking me up to one of those heart monitors. I cannot get that off and I got hairy legs, okay? I'm Spanish. <laughs> Stone yesterday, you can do this, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared. Do it fast, do it fast, do it fast. Do it fast. Wait, I gotta see if there's any hair on there. Oh my god! <laughs> well, oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> 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 it looks like an Instagram. Oh, this one didn't, well, it pulled a little hair off. Yeah, that. Oh, that, yeah. Good times, good times. Put this on the refrigerator. Okay. That's the I do want to give a massive thank you to everyone that was reaching out to me and Tiff on social media. Even reaching out to some of my family members and close friends, just checking up on me. I, I really do appreciate that. I, seeing all the support, love, prayers that I got, it meant a lot to me. And I think it definitely helped with the healing process of what I went through. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my last video. I even did a live stream inside of an ambulance. Crazy because I was vlogging that day and I woke up just fine. I was happy, go lucky, chilling. We were having breakfast right over there and just out of nowhere, I got this sharp back pain and I thought maybe I just needed to relax, stretch, did a couple of jumping jacks. And after that, it was just downhill from there. I mean, I could barely make it out to the truck, throwing up. I tried to take a bath to see if that would help. Set back the pain a little bit, didn't help at all. She had to help me out of the tub. Yeah, all I have now is a little bit of soreness. Have you ever gone through a kidney stone you have no idea how much i feel you it was it was the worst the worst possible pain i've ever been through i'm sorry v yeah i left the lights on and everything we came well it was like two o'clock in the morning that's right i feel so bad for cookie and luna but luckily they had no accidents in the house they were just sleeping chilling is that your water dish oh <laughs> luna no <laughs> i guess it's clean yeah it is clean in here but I am about to not make it clean anymore. Yeah, I'm just kidding. So I'm a little bit upset right now. Actually, we, I mean, I'm kind of upset for her too because she's had to wait here with me. I don't care, I'm playing my game. We've been here for two hours. We're in the middle of nowhere. And the reason why we are is because I was trying to get a video out on YouTube and was not successful because the internet situation. I do have a a box you know just for like wi-fi and i pay on it and that gives me the like the fastest possible internet the internet at the house that we're staying at is not the best like the video is going to take like 12 hours or it was ridiculous so every time i'm like i try to upload it it, it gets like halfway it's a giant file because it's 4k and it's a long video so i i don't know how i'm going to get this video out i, I mean just so only thing that sucks when you're traveling and you're a YouTuber and you're trying to get content out there to the universe, you're sort of limited because when you stay at some of these Airbnbs, their internet is probably the most basic internet package. And when you're uploading large video files, you need something a little faster like what I got at home. And yeah, so we parked out front. You can't see it, but there's a ginormous cell phone tower somewhere out there and uh that was my fastest option it it was like an hour or so that it would have taken but every time it gets like halfway through it says network loss network connection and then it starts all over again and it stops the upload i don't know it's just <sighs> but yeah i mean it, part of the reason why some of this happened too is because of course i was in the hospital and a majority of my day yesterday was in the hospital 
12 hours of your day. <laughs> I wish I would have maybe had my laptop because I would have been able to do some work, but I was just trying to survive, okay? I thought <laughs> I was going to die. Really did. Like, my dad was wanting to send a helicopter. <laughs> like, that's what he did. It was bad. It was really bad. He doesn't have a helicopter. He was just trying to call. Yeah, he, he was trying to call, like, one of the, I mean, who knows what that would have cost. I do have health insurance, but I don't think my health insurance covers some of these things that they're going to charge me for, probably. I don't, I'm kind of scared about that ambulance bill. When I was in like, a car accident, mine was 50 grand just for the ambulance. $50,000? And how long ago was that? Ariana was three. So, eight, 18 years ago. Oh, my God. I, I don't know. Let me know here in the comments how much your ambulance bill costs. I think Jody, when Jody was ever lifted from his accident, I think his was like 100 grand. Man, yeah. okay, a helicopter ride when you go to Orlando is like $20, okay? Why are they charging people $100,000 to airlift them? In an emergency. That, you're not even asking to be airlifted. That is honestly, that's, that is such a scam. But they get away with it because they bill insurance companies for most of those costs. And I, I mean, some people are able to pay them, but most people are going to be able to pay a hundred thousand dollars, me included. Okay. Like I just don't have a hundred thousand dollars like sitting here. Oh, here you go for my, you know, yeah. For my ambulance bill, hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to go eat and get back home. We've been out here for a couple hours trying to get these videos done. And, uh, by the way, I've been uploading a lot more on TikTok. If you don't follow my TikTok, and by the way, I, I hate that I have to address this. Like, For it's like every time. fifth, every other <laughs> video or so, I have to address it on social media. If you look down in my description of this video, I, maybe it's my other channel. I don't know. Is it on my vlog channel or my? Um, let me look. I'm pretty and sure. Let's show people where the description is. I'm going to show people because a lot of people. Yeah, she didn't know. She didn't know about the description, but. Well, those were really a really long time ago. I get all these messages sometimes like, hey, Omar, did you message me? Did you start this new account? And I, it's like, oh, like my only accounts are the ones that I post here. I'm sorry. I just I get a little frustrated because they get persuaded into sending these scammers money, thinking that they're sending me money. Now, first of all, I don't need money. I do very well for myself. I've worked since I was 14 years old, unless I desperately, desperately needed, like maybe like my electricity was getting cut off or, you know, I, I mean, maybe I, I didn't have enough money for food. I mean, in a desperate situation like that, I'm gonna go to my parents or maybe like a really good friend, a family member, okay? The last thing I would ever do is ask one of my fams for money. I'll never do that. So let's just get that out of the way right now. If somebody out there saying that their Omar Gosh TV is asking you for money or asking you for money for like a collaboration or anything like that, or talking it's on not WhatsApp me. app or talking yeah, on these other apps. Yeah, I don't have what's, I actually do have a WhatsApp, but it's linked through my phone number and I only talk to like Mo and Jody and some people that are like long distance. Lynn. Yeah, like people that are in other countries, but that's like personal. I don't reach out to other people on my WhatsApp. And we are clearly still together. <laughs> yeah, these people Not will reach out to, to like all these women and they'll say, oh, well, uh, yeah, this is this is Omar. And, you know, secretly I I left or I'm trying to leave Tiffany and I can't get away with like this one guy. He persuaded this woman that and she was like in the, the United Kingdom or something like that. But she thought that she was sending me money and she sent over six thousand dollars she thought that she was in a secret relationship him with him for six months mm -hmm. because he was trying to get away or you know i was supposedly trying to get away and i needed money to do that like please okay don't fall for this bs <laughs> he is not trapped with me. and you know what <laughs> i i feel like even though i'm saying it right now i'm gonna have to say it again and again and again okay so look at the description she's gonna show you right now okay so you go to his thing mm -hmm. you click on it click on a well, go to a video i am go to videos and this is where you can find all of his new videos all his new videos aren't definitely gonna be there go to videos so go there and then i'm trying to do this back wait i'm trying to do this backwards so <laughs> where's that 
Oh, right here. See where it says more? Click on more. Click on more. And then down here. That's my description. And it shows all his only social media links. Those are my only one social TikTok, medias. One TikTok, one Twitter, What does it say up, at the top of that? Where? What, like, what does it actually say? This is my only social media. Yeah. So Brother. if if there's a another TikTok account or another like there was this these people on Twitter, uh, oh my gosh two, oh my gosh three, oh my gosh four. I mean all, they just go up and and up on and people fall for it. They'll copy every single one of my tweets, every single one of my pictures. Like it's it's not me, okay? It's not me. Oh, and you will you do have um so you have one Facebook. Like your main Facebook group. Yes. That's the Omar and I and I did have a Facebook before, but right. it it got terminated. It, it, somebody had, I don't know what the heck happened. I still don't have a solid answer to that. Fa well, my original Facebook that I had, it, it's still out there. It's got like thousands of followers, yeah. but I couldn't never, I couldn't remember the password, and I just kind of gave it away and not gave it away, but um, you get what I'm saying. I I lost the password. But this is the point. So he has this one. Yes. Which is his... That's, that's my his newest yeah. Facebook. But what's the other one? Because remember, there's a new one, too, where people... It's a public one. Yeah, there's... This is private. There's a fan page. Yeah. Like a Facebook fan page. Yeah. Uh, and that's... And that's ran by, by my friend and editor. Yeah. So, where's that one? Because I can't remember... So, there is two. To it. There's this one, which is the private. So, it's like a... You got to like it and... But it's a page. Yeah. I just want to give you a heads up, okay? Because I know there's a lot of people out there pretending to be other people that they're not doing the whole catfishing thing. And they're doing it with youtubers tiktokers you know instagram creators facebook creators there's nothing you could do about it there's nothing you could do about it but warn your followers and that's what i'm doing right now i've been doing it probably for the last couple years and just want you to be aware okay don't fall for someone pretending to be me or any one of my friends and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna just randomly message you please don't take that offensive i'm a busy guy i'm, I'm on the run a lot you see me i'm traveling I'm getting sick. I'm almost dying. I mean, I, I don't have a whole lot of time to chit chat. And, and I, I mean, I do every once in a while. Like a lot of you have gotten messages from me, but I, I won't sit there all day with you. And I'm, I'm sorry. I know that there's some people out there. They'll send me I, when I got sick. Oh my gosh. Like my inboxes, I haven't got to anybody. You know, maybe a few people that were at the top when I had a chance, but uh, yeah, if that was you and you inboxed me, please forgive me. I just, I don't have time to go through I mean, it, there's probably like a thousand messages, okay? I just, I don't have the time to do it. So hope you understand. But yes, I won't just randomly reach out to you and, and say, hey, my fan, how are you doing? Like, I just, Thanks for being a fan. Yeah, because what they do is they end up sweet talking you little by little and they some somehow persuade people to give them money. And I just, let's just get that out of the way. I'm never gonna ask you for money. Only time that I may come close to asking you for money is for merch and you're gonna get something in return for that okay so there's uh there i would never just ask somebody for money for for anything other than maybe what's on my merch shelf okay but you're getting something back in exchange so it's not like you're just gonna give me money for no particular reason um i know that when we do like live streams and stuff you can do like super chats and things like that and i i never usually beg for anything like that that's just your way of showing your appreciation for your creators that you support on youtube and that does help it just goes right back into creating videos and i mean like this setup that i have right here this is 400 dollars a month for me to be able to do live streams and upload videos on the go while i'm traveling so there is costs associated it's free for you to watch my content will always be free however it's not free for me and i do depend on ads like you know some of the ads that you watched on this video and i only get paid when you watch them through so please if you can anytime you're if you want to support your favorite creators support their sponsors as well watch the ads i mean you don't have to watch some of them are like ridiculous long but you know if if you're able to because that's what helps me and my journeys and creating free content for y'all to watch but and you don't get all the money from your merch either <laughs> no, no, no no keep that in mind just no, because yeah, something's I, like 25 dollars it I, gets like i get a nine, cut ten dollars of that no not even sometimes it's like five bucks you know i mean it's uh, it's crazy some this um this this creator that they like kind of guess like what you make on youtube and he was like oh he makes like 20 or thirty thousand dollars a month <laughs> off of merch i'm like what like okay i could show you where i made 40 dollars last month on merch okay i wish i mean if 
if I was making that much on merch, I would not be making YouTube videos. I would just make merch because, oh my God, like $20,000, $30,000 on merch. I mean, I, maybe one day, but yeah, as of now, it's like respectively like about $50. You know, I got some better months and worse months. I got a check for like $15 one time for merch for the month. So it's not a lot of money. It's not what people think. But certainly do not give your hard-earned money to some of these scam artists out there that pretend to be people that they are not. You ever watch the show Catfish? Like the same thing, but with YouTubers, and it's, it's getting ridiculous. There's nothing we can do about it. Some people will send me messages, and they're like, hey, Omar, like, what can you do? And it's like, I can't do anything. I can't, I don't have time to see every new fake account that pops up. I mean, there's so many of them. I know on Instagram, I am verified on Instagram. So you see my little blue badge. I'm working I, I'm working on getting verified on Twitter. It's it's really hard. I mean, they want all this crazy and I I have all of it. I meet all the But yeah, just look for amount the amount of followers, okay? If you're following an account that has like 10 followers or maybe even 100, I mean, I'm not trying to like brag or anything, but I have on my social medias, I have hundreds of thousands of followers I think on every single one. So, I mean, that's a good way to know if it's really me that you're talking to. I won't make a second or third or fourth account. I got one account for every social media. And if you want to confirm that, go down below in the description and you'll see my only social medias. If it's not one of those that you're getting a message from, you're not talking to me. And the same goes for some of my friends that you may be almost talking to but you're really talking to a scammer so it just really upsets me that there's really nice people out there and they're getting taken advantage of and the only way that i can prevent that from happening is by by telling you here so uh chances are i'm probably gonna have to speak on this again but please don't be so gullible don't send me money all right don't you don't have to ever send me money if i ever ask you for money yeah it's not me I'm never, I'm never going to ask you for money. I promise that. I, I mean, do I ever ask anybody for money? No. No. I mean, like even when I was dead broke, I had my electricity being turned off, my water shut off. You'll start pawning stuff and selling stuff before you get it. Exa exactly what she said. I mean, I have, I have other ways that I could come up with the funds. I'm, I'm never, I mean, I'm, maybe it's a pride thing. It's, it's, it's a pride thing. But yeah, I'll always, if I really need it, I'll, I'm going to ask like my dad or my mom and or my brother and if you want to help combat some of these people that are creating these fake pages for youtubers tiktokers whenever you come across one i mean just know right away it's a scam if it's not connected to them somewhere or another and they're just reaching out to you it's a scam report it that's the best thing you could do easiest thing you could do report it re say that they're pretending to be somebody else and just go about it that way if they have like zero followers a very small amount of followers on TikTok, I counted, there's like almost 60 fake accounts. Of and ours. you know, when I started my TikTok account, there was people that name squatted Omar Gosh TV. And I tried to reach out to them. I'm like, hey, like you're using my, my corporated name. Like that's my name. I have a trademark on that name. And there's just nothing I could do about it. So TikTok gave me Omar Gosh, what, 004? Mm -hmm. So that's, I mean, it's still, if you put Omar Gosh TV on TikTok, it, the first one that pops up is that and you'll see I got like I think I got I just hit 100,000 followers on TikTok so I'm real happy about that thank you if you do follow me on TikTok but yeah I've been uploading a little bit more there just trying to get that going because um yeah it's this one it's right Omar Gosh 004 yeah so it's you could put Omar Gosh TV trying to but, wait for it to load because service here sucks yeah look, just to give you an idea but it does say Omar Gosh TV but always look at that follow count see I got um, 115,000 followers as of today. Um, that's gonna go up more because I had another viral video on there. Oh, there and, it goes. Yeah, that's okay, here we go. Yeah, I had this awesome viral video right there of the suicide bridge in Pasadena and it hit 2.8 million views in one day. That's insane. Haven't had a video do that in so long. So that's, uh, it feels good. It's encouraging when you have something you know, and then do I think all like in the comments are like, oh my God, what happened to you? I thought you were gone. I'm glad you're back. I haven't yeah. seen, you're part of my childhood. I used, <laughs> I used to watch you when I was younger. And Where I'm like, go? come on, I'm still uploading videos. So, I mean, I know some people kind of come and go. But then somebody also said you were shadow banned. Yeah, somebody did tell me that they're 
subscribe to me, but my videos never pop up in their feed. And it's like, like I'm hidden from, and I don't know, let me know if that's ever happened to you with maybe other YouTubers. And I haven't, I don't really, I don't really watch a lot of YouTube just cause I'm always posting videos. I do sometimes. I'll tell you what, for having as many followers as I do, like my last video that I posted it, I was looking at the analytics. I'm not complaining. Okay. This is just me analyzing a situation and maybe it'll help you out if you're a fellow creator but i only had ten thousand. i know this sounds like a lot okay but i have four million followers and only ten thousand that were subscribed to the video were notified and came to watch which is that's terrible like that's bad i mean it it got recommended to a new audience that's what you ultimately want but out of four million people i mean are, I mean, even if 10% of them that were subscribed watched the video, it would have got, it would have been like 400,000 views. And it, it didn't get, I mean, it's picking up some traction now, being recommended a little bit more throughout time. But I'll just kind of give you an example. So let me know if that's ever happened to you, like you subscribe to somebody and you're just not seeing their videos, maybe me, just not seeing my videos anymore. Is I get comments sometimes like, oh my God, like, are you still uploading videos? Like, I thought you disappeared. I'm like, I've I been- upload every Saturday. <laughs> I've been consistent. And then I upload sometimes a little bit more than just on Saturdays. But I mean, I I try to be consistent. But Saturday is your main upload day. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if I'm not, if, if I miss a day or something like that, it's usually because I'm traveling, filming, or deathly ill. But yeah, beware of the scammers, okay? I love you. I don't want to see you getting scammed. Not just on the internet, but in general, okay? Don't fall for for scammers out there that pretend to be other people. And don't fall for something that's too good to be true. That's not true because you're too good to be true. Oh, you're too good to be true. <laughs> Man, okay, I'm going to shut this off and give her a kiss. <laughs> just washed my truck and I got a bunch of bug guts. I don't know what it is about those bug guts too, but they're they like, stick. their insides are made of glue. For real. But yeah, we really are in the middle of nowhere in Missouri, but it is beautiful out here. And what's the most beautiful thing to you about Missouri? Being with you. Being with me. I'm so corny. The people. The that, people are beautiful. Oh yes. my God, they're so nice. So that that's that's what I was going to say. Everywhere you go, and I mean, this part of Missouri, at least, I mean, just everybody is freakishly friendly and it's not fake. Like, they are genuinely very nice people. Even That's, at the hospital. Yeah. Everybody that was working at the hospital, everybody that was in the waiting room, everybody was just so nice and so friendly. And we were waiting a long time. The people were so nice. The doctors were nice. They weren't like cocky or like trying to get rid of you. Was I supposed to turn there? Yeah. And all. Even the people in, that were waiting in the waiting room for hours and hours and hours. Like we made friends with like yeah. four people. And nobody was complaining or uh -huh. like yelling at the staff or like, you know, everybody was just chilling. Even people that were literally like, Omar was going over and checking on so many people like, are you okay? <laughs> are you all right? I saw this guy and, with like tears in his eyes and he was just, just bro, going through a lot. Where are you Whoa, going? Shit. Oh my God. Oh, babe. The road, I didn't know the road ended. Cause There's, you're like on your phone just flying like oh my gosh what the heck where the heck did we end up at a dead end <laughs> but there was no sign back there oh my god dude it was like the road that just ended literally <laughs> <laughs> if that was dark can you imagine if we oh were in the dark oh how many geez. cars you think you've hit like look there's i don't know there's, oh my gosh that was freaky <gasps> i'm going off a cliff yeah i mean you're just driving and it got a little bushy you, like you can't even see the like the end of the road it literally kind of looks like it goes like around a curve. Someone's house. But then, look, they were probably looking at us like they going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks like a hot. People were hauling butt behind me too. Yeah, they hauled butt and then turned. Yeah, we were supposed to turn up there, but I don't see no dead end sign. Yeah. Creepy. Oh my god, you have. <laughs> what? <laughs> From when you hit the tree. Ah no. <gasps> it's a whole. Oh, you poor little tree. Aww. Sorry. What did he say? I don't know. Okay, this kind of fascinated me right now, but look at how all those birds are moving. They almost look like Olympic flyer birds. Mosquitoes or something. Oh. 
They're coming right towards us, too. I feel like doing that synchronized swimming, but in the sky. How much poop do you think is falling beneath them right now? I don't know. <laughs> Bro, that's so cool. Like, what are they doing? They're playing. Wait, where'd they go? The poop squad is coming. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look, they're coming right above us. Nice. We are in the pure country. There's cows and haystacks. It almost looks like our neighborhood. Well, Tiffany wants to get one of those windmill things on our property. Fish one or two, got blow pop. You want to lick? It's like a cow with a sprinkler, but his tail is the sprinkler. You ever seen a hippo poop and they move their tail like that? No. So now you're going to talk like me? What? Right there. With all the dust from the gravel road, it almost looks like snow. <laughs> These guys are so cool. Mm -hmm. I think he's got an itch. Oh, that one's so pretty. More horsies. There's another one over there. It's pretty out here. This is an Instagram picture right there. Now that a bug juice on the window. Yeah, I mean, minus that, you know? I can almost see like a mist or something. Is that from the dirt road? I don't know, but it's beautiful, whatever it is. It's like a fog. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Look at this little guy right here. Oh my goodness. You want to come back to Florida with me? No. That is a cute tortoise. Aww. <laughs> their area like in a in their perimeter mm -hmm. for years and years and years like so when people find turtles crossing the roads and stuff tortoises tor whatever turtles are water yes, tortoises, tortoises. Are land. so when you find a tortoise crossing the road or whatever and you're trying to save it always put it in the direction that it was going because if you take it too far out of its way it's going to spend all that time trying to find its way back yeah so this guy lives around here like real close distance he knows where his little hole is if he has one. I'm pretty sure he does. <laughs> You're so cute. I'm pretty sure he like did a head nod at me. Like he was like, as I was going by, should I move him? Like what if a car runs him over? I'm pretty sure we're the only cars out here. Mm, yeah, probably. Not much going on on this road. I just feel bad if a car's hauling butt and, and gets him. He's not moving at all. I do see tire marks. So if he stays right there, he should be okay because the car will go right over him. Hurry up, little guy. So this is a little Amish town. You could actually see the Amish, what are they, like, what are they called? Like, Where's the buggies? Like the buggy tracks? The wheels. Right, because the wheels are so thin. So, hey, Omar, how do you know this is an Amish house? Well, most Amish houses aren't going to have electrical lines connected to their house. And this one right here does not. Yeah, see, there's no electrical poles. I'm about 99% positive that is an Amish house. Oh, look, there's a doggy and a cat. Ooh, where's their boogies, though? They're probably over there. They have, like, a little, little garage. Oh, and look, there's the horse buggy or the horse poopy. It's the oil. <laughs> yeah, the oil. Here, here, here. Is there another one? Okay, here's another one. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, no power lines. Because they are not connected to the world. They are connected to the world. They're more connected with the world than we are. How do you figure? Like, they don't have phones. They're connected with no, the actual earth. Exactly. Okay, good point. But they have their own little garden. Mm-hmm. Cute. Here's what I want to do. I want to grow some groceries. Uh it's pretty out here. I want to be friends with them. There's another Amish house. See how that house has electricity? That's not an Amish house. I noticed they all have the little windmills. Mm -hmm. What are those windmills used for? Yeah, I guess it's used for the yeah. So they turn. Oh, there's little Amish kids outside. Oh, there's... Well, I just love kids here. Oh, look, and then there's the, the buggy. That's a chicken house. Cool. Oh my gosh, I love them little girls. What if we were to be Amish for like a day? I would totally do it. I have, would have no problem doing it. What about for 
a, a week, month. A month? I could. I would totally be down. You know what? We could learn and like. Can learn a lot, like off the land so and stuff. One hundred percent. But how do you go about that? Like, because they don't have phones. You can't call them up and be like, you know, hey, um, can we be like Amish for a day? Maybe go to one of their stores and be like, hey. Okay. I need to be friends with you because I want to learn so much about the way of the world with you. If you happen to be Amish and you're watching this video, How that be? let's be friends. Follow me on Instagram. Or maybe you're a former Amish and you know how to reconnect. I, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how that works. But I would love, I, I've been talking to her about it for a couple years now, to go to an Amish town and just kind of learn their way. If you're ever wondering how it was back in the early days in the United States, you know, like the I mean, early days, 16, 1700s, this is what it was like. This was our roads. This is how, I mean, probably New York was like this at one point. Yeah, most of the United States, I mean, these are what the roads were, were like. They settled here, I think it was in the 1600s, and they just stayed exactly the same. Like how you see them is how they have always been. And we drove by so many Amish families and they were like waving at us. And they were, they were like, friendly. Hey. Tiff got so excited. <laughs> I love friendly people. Me too. How cool that is. Whoa. That looks creepy. Is that maybe like an old mine shaft or something? That's There's a house right there. That's what a is. is. that an Amish house? I don't know. Is there electricity going to it? No, I don't see any. They got a giant pool in their backyard. Yeah, this whole area that we're in right now is it's all like a Amish community. They have electrical poles here and you can see that none of those poles are going into that house. So yeah, that is, yeah, 100% Amish house. See the buggy? Dude, Amish, they can build some cool stuff. They are very handy. Oh, look, there's an Amish guy. Tiffany's excited. Shut up. There is a buggy up there. Oh, cool. Like, I don't think Amish, like, go to the grocery store and stuff. They probably they, grow their own groceries. And they have, they ha I'm sure some of them do. But they have, um, they have stores. Like, they have their own Look, stores. like, these guys have their own, they have their own chicken house. Mm -hmm. Look, share the road. See the horse and buggy? Dude, this is, all, everything is Amish here. They have a lot of, um, a lot of Amish stores where you can go and, like, they sell like you know homemade from butters stuff that they and, make themselves yeah like the ear candling things that we do look at this this all amish um, these like, houses they're all amish built the earwax candling thingies or whatever uh -huh. that we get um they sell look a lot at the of little amish those. kids <laughs> oh they're so cute the whole family was sitting out there see that's Where what i mean they were like they're they're, sp they're t spending time together right you know they're not on games playing on their phones and like they're literally talking and being no together. fancy toys either yeah or they probably make their own toys. remember the other day when we rode by and there was a little a little boy with his little radio flyer wagon and i was just like ah, he's living his best life <laughs> oh look at that little baby we're gonna get oh, <laughs> i see the hopping yeah, around I see it running it was so cute <laughs> I almost want you to turn around. So we're driving, right? And we see this kitty. And then I saw a couple more. I have to send this to Chris. <laughs> this is the crazy cat lady's house. They're all back here, too. Oh my God, hi, sweet babies. How are you? Look, they go all the way back here. Watch out, there's cats all around here. so cute they're like more yeah. tourists oh boy oh they're looking at us like y'all got some food <laughs> they're all looking now yeah they're very cautious i think I they're just you. wild oh they're... wow there's some in the bush really see it licking its paws there's gotta be like 20 something cats here i love you stay out the road okay you'll be good do Come people's in. pets just run free out here hey does he have a collar on does somebody? I, don't, he's, I think he's like a runaway. We just saw probably one of the most disturbing things ever. I thought maybe 
Tiffany was talking about like maybe somebody was hunting and you know because there was some animals hanging from the trees when we went back for a second look of all animals guess what kind of animals were hanging from the trees fish giant fish like and then but they're all the they're all around their yard yeah they're like they're like there's like bones and carcasses of stuff on the fence like on the fence posts and they've been eating like and then then there's vultures the, and then you look in the yard and there's like a giant pile of like fish and all these vultures are eating it. it's right here all right look i'm all for fishing and hunting but i ain't never seen oh, anything like this of this okay yeah, look there's like stuff hanging from their posts and then back there look there's a ton of like fish carcasses and look over here it's like hanging from the tree what the look hell look at that pile of fish did they just go fishing and they're like oh we're just gonna throw them over here and what about all these look at all the dead bones on the on the posts that's so weird look at their mailbox what oh bro they got cameras they got cameras outside their house bro that's weird all right we gotta get out of here This is like something you. Yeah, they got trail cams everywhere. Yeah, they do. Bro, look at all these bones. What the freak? I think they're just trying to let their neighbors that pass by know that they're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where we're at right now. Got no service. Like, what if you break down out here? I'm gonna fight you because I told you not to go this way. <laughs> I mean, like, what kind of road is this? Like, there's a little bit of water over there too. I mean, obviously cars go through here. Oh, that's like a bridge. <gasps> Look how low. Wait, S can we fit through here? Stay over there. Wait, Bro, I don't know. Is that bridge going to collapse? Let me get out and look at it first. Don't. No, no, no. We're just going to go. No, wait. Just what? Go. Just look. Just... Go fast. Go fast. I can't. Mm, you can't. Yes, you can. Whoa. Oh, gosh. Go fast. I can't go that fast. Woo. Oh, my God. Why can't you go that fast? Just okay. go. Okay. Put your foot on the gas. We're good. We made it. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing it's daytime for like another 30 minutes. I think there's bugs out here. What is that in the road? Oh, I don't know. What is it? I don't know. It's dead. Is it? Is that an armadillo? Wait. I don't know what that is. It's an armadillo. Maybe he's just taking a break. No, it's your poor little baby. I'm sorry. He's sleeping. Well. well. What if a car's coming the other way, like hauling butt through here? I have no idea. What the heck? This reminds me of West Virginia. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. It drops down right here. Oh, that's a big drop right over here. Hold on. <laughs> it's a drop. Wait. Can you even get out? Go back I up got it. Go? I got it. Hey, it's a drop right here. I just want to make sure we can drive over this. Let's look with the camera. Let's see. Right here, it drops right here. See that? I think we're good. Let's, let's just. Oh God! All right, go. Just don't go slow. What? Oh, uh, there's fish in here. Fish? Go. I'm not running. I don't want to run over the fish. Can you just go before we get stuck in this water? Okay. <laughs> this is cool. We're like going over a waterfall. Nice. You legit saw fish? Yeah, there's like little baby fish swimming around. Where the hell are we at? I don't know. <laughs> Bro, what the heck? Look at this road. Oh my God, these bridges just keep getting smaller and smaller. Okay, just wanna let you know if, uh, if you come up behind my truck, just, just honk. Oh, I had to put my hazards on right now. I do hear a highway, so that's good. How old do you think this road is? <laughs> it's kind of like the sounds you listen to at nighttime. Mm -hmm. I wonder what kind of fish are in here. Obviously some big ones. You think that's where the guy's catching those fish? Nah, that guy's, I don't know what that guy's doing. Oh. 
Where? There's a car. I see a car right there on the side of the road. Really slow. I don't like you. <laughs> Just really, really slow. What if I go off to the right? Whoa. I think we're gonna be okay. We made it, babe. <laughs> oh, there is a car That's up tall. here. What do you think I'm lying? Is there a house up here? Like the hills have eyes. It's like the abandoned teenager's car. That's someone's driveway. Away. Dude, check out the sky. It looks so nice. Hey, by the way, if you ever want to stay here at this house, this is the information. They're on VRBO and Airbnb, TripAdvisor, Facebook. How many people live out here? It's like 1,200. 1,200 in this town. It's a very small town. Mansfield. All right, fam. So we are at our brand new Airbnb. Here is Lake of the Ozarks. If you ever watched the show on Netflix, one of my favorite shows, it's based off of this town that we're in right now. You may have been clickbaited just like I was clickbaited because it wasn't actually filmed here. It was filmed in Atlanta, Georgia, or well, Lake Lanier. So it wasn't even filmed in uh, the actual Lake of the Ozarks. And I didn't figure that out till last year when i came to visit because i wanted to do like filming locations of the netflix show and i started doing research on where the locations were in the ozarks and then it said it was in lake lanier in georgia a lot closer to me of course in florida but it ended up working out because this is probably one of my favorite places to visit the water isn't as pristine and nice as in florida uh, especially where we're at right now um this airbnb uh not my favorite place and i'm not just like you know i spent a lot of money i spent like yeah it was, it was a lot of money i'm not even gonna say how much i spent on this place but i don't even want to walk on that i mean it looks like a death trap i mean look there's like boards coming up and stuff i don't know it's so dirty out here spider webs everywhere and probably a lot of bugs because of the lake but i live in florida i lived by the water before no excuse to have bugs in your house especially when you're charging a lot of money for an airbnb okay this is something that i would not do like my airbnb properties i would not have just like garbage sitting outside like that's yeah that's not cool uh, there was like trash ants on it i was wanting to really go swimming today but i don't know if i want to go swimming in this luna wants to she don't even care what's the matter cookie I think she's trapped under the table. <laughs> Come on, Cookie. All you gotta do is go backwards. There you go. There you go. <laughs> she's such an old lady. So hey, check it out. This is our Airbnb that Tiffany finds to be one of the most clean. So hey, let's talk about how clean this Airbnb this is. This freaking place is so cute, but it is. I mean, there's like bugs. There's a bug there. A lot of bugs. Bugs up here, up here. Yeah. Up Wait. Here. Isn't there like ants on the sugar too? Yeah. Where, where are you? Hey, look at that. That's just juicy. Hi, little friend. I didn't know this place came with pets. Don't even get me started on the ceiling. There's bugs everywhere. I mean, hey, they're you know we're on a lake. It's it's a beautiful okay, view. Okay, well then, minus the bugs, come hit it. Okay. So of course we ripped off, we put all the carpets and stuff up. Still. Yeah, it's one thing we do when we go to Airbnb. Well, look at this door. Uh, wait, does that wipe up? Yes. Like for real? Very easily, yes. What the heck? On all of this, like look at this. Yeah, it's, it's kind of gross. There's like stuff on our chair over there. Yeah, but it's whatever. It's one of the clean, it's one of the cleaner ones. Yeah, I mean the sheets are clean, so that's all that matters. I mean, hopefully. I mean, they look like <laughs> this is where you walk in to the Airbnb and hey, I'm just letting you know so that that way if you rent an Airbnb property 
you know that this isn't right, okay? We enter in, uh, I mean, first of all, the door is filthy, which, you know, it's, it's okay. I mean, I'm from Florida, like we love bugs too, but this dirty trash filled with ants was inside of there. And I told the owners, I'm like, you know, hey, can I put this in a, you got a trash can or something I can put this in? Like, oh, the cleaners must have left it. We'll send somebody to get it. And no. hey, that was yesterday. That stuff's been sitting there for way longer than just yesterday. Cause it supposedly the cleaners left like right before we got here. That's a lie because it did not take that long. It may take a long time for that trash to smell and get up the amount of ants that it has. True, right. Yeah. And this, we didn't even know the front door would be in here because it's not very welcoming. No. For my Airbnb properties, I wouldn't be like just leaving trash off, There's like for guests to see. This one, what is that? Like a, what is, oh, I don't know what that is down there. Bro, like what the heck? Like, oh my God. But hey, that's why we're here right there, because of the view. We are here because of that, and it is beautiful. We love the water. Take high pride in our Airbnb properties too. Man, I, I think that's the thing too, is like Tiffany is really good at cleaning our places. Like we have five star reviews on actually every single, the three properties that we have on Airbnb. Well, it's because if you're five spending stars, money super host. to go somewhere, like you want it to be clean, you want it to be comfortable, you want it to be sanitized. You don't want to go and spend money to go sleep with bugs. And get this too. So we were, you know, when we checked out of our Airbnb yesterday, we message the guy and you know people do it with us too and, and we're usually like you know hey like we're cleaning or oh yeah you can come a couple hours early it's totally fine well we didn't really have anywhere to go so we had to stay in the car for a couple hours and i asked him i was like you know hey if for you know if, if the cleaners are done a little sooner if, if you can like send me a message and let me know because i'm we're just riding around with the dogs and you know we're, we're okay but you know it's kind of tight in here with the dogs and we the bird. We sat in front of Starbucks for what, two and a half hours so you can download your video? Yeah, I mean, I just edited and stuff. I did have to get my video out and, and it worked It worked out fine. But they made it seem like they were there cleaning. When we got inside, we were like, bro, Amazing. fire your cleaners. <laughs> like fire your, if there was somebody here cleaning, fire them right away because the place is filthy. I mean, smudges on the windows, toothpaste, on the on the sink, sink that wasn't our toothpaste. I mean, just dead bugs all over the floor. There was dead bugs everywhere. I mean, those are things that, like, anytime I rent a place, and like, let's say I haven't been there for a couple of days, I always double check and make sure it's clean. So then, when the person arrives, they feel welcome. They feel like you know, wow, this is clean. Our first initial thoughts coming here to this place was like, bruh, like garbage right at the entrance, smelling with bugs all over it. Door all full of bugs. Like the grounds look like they haven't been like touched and cleaned or maintained like it's just not very welcoming and it's very unfortunate and it only had one review and it was a great review from yeah. this month but i'm pretty sure like we're dealing with their leftover stuff <laughs> like what do you do do you leave a bad review or do you like privately tell because i did message the owners i'm like you know hey there's some garbage here I'm not making a big deal about it. I'm just letting them know, hey, what what can I do to put this garbage away? I don't want ants getting into your house. But obviously, they don't care because, first of all, they never came to get the garbage. And two, if they're leaving garbage out there with ants off, you know, I mean, we that was before we even went inside. Tons of bugs inside, too, so. We can't leave anything on the counter. Yeah. Because ants just. We put everything in the fridge. It was just like there's the counters are full of ants. And we got ants, too, in Florida. Don't get me wrong. We've had ants in our properties before, but like from the moment I see just one ant or somebody says, hey, like there was ants in here, like, bro, I am on it like that. And I take care of it while the person is in there. And maybe I'll even offer them like another night, like for free to make up for, you know, these creepy invaders that do happen to live in our world, unfortunately. I mean, we have to share this beautiful planet with some critters. It's the whole circle of life thing, you know? If I were these people, I, I would get on it. And down in the basement part too, which is like a bedroom, there was like dead bugs, like big bugs the on the floor. The wasn't vacuumed. Chances are when we leave this Airbnb, it's gonna be cleaner than when they gave it to us. Like just, and, and we got two dogs here and a bird. Actually, no, I'm not doing it. You're not gonna clean? No, I'm gonna straighten up our mess, yeah. but they need to go in there and clean. Because it's if, yeah, if I right. make it cleaner now, then they're just going to go in there and change the sheets. And then the next people that come, they're just 
Like they need to go and maybe they have a bad cleaner. I mean, that's that's why we're gonna let them know. Like, yeah. hey, whether it's you or your cleaning crew, like they're not doing their job. What would you do though? Would you give them a bad review? I mean, it sounds sounds like they're brand new Airbnb hosts. They have they over twelve hundred reviews. Mm, he has but not for this house. This not is a this new house. property. Yeah. But I don't think we should give them a bad review. I think we should just let them know personally, like, hey, this is what you're yeah. like. If you have a cleaner, they're not doing their job and you need to get your money back. And if it's you guys cleaning it, just a little heads up, you probably need to take a little bit more pride in your I mean, property. It was like garbage underneath the couch and mm -hmm. stuff too. I'm just I don't know. It's it's unfortunate and it's not very welcoming. And as a super host Airbnb ourselves, it's kind of like it. I don't know. You hate to judge, but we've been in some really nice Airbnbs before and we've been in some really bad ones and we judge them based off how we keep ours. And you know what? It should make you feel good. That It's not even about how if you are taking somebody's money to stay in a home, provide a clean home for them. It's pretty or simple. Don't take their money. It like, is it's simple. Just, and that's, that's what simple. leads to really good ratings. But I'm saying, though, feel good, though, that we're. We look at things like that, and it shows in our ratings on Airbnb. Because we are accepting money, and we want people to enjoy their stay. We do, yeah. I mean, it's the it's the part of being an empath and, and wanting people to have a nice experience. When people come to our Airbnbs, we want them, you know, they're, we're in Florida. And come back. Right. There's people that come from out of state, out of the country. We want them to feel like their vacation was worth it. I mean, it doesn't matter about the money. It, it really just, like, coming to Florida and feeling like, wow, like... I had a memorable trip. Like us coming here to this lake house, to me is like it's not a memorable. It's trip. not memorable, and I mean, and you like, can't even really walk out on the boardwalk, and they nah. made it sound like you can go out there and go, go swimming. swimming. And you yeah, can't. There's boards all falling apart, and yeah, it's dangerous out there. I, we I were clickbaited. We got clickbaited, and we paid a lot of money to be here. It's it's really unfortunate. I don't know. Would you ask for your money back and maybe go to another Airbnb? I don't know. I hate to be that person. I mean, I'm just, just going to enjoy my stay here and be thankful. Yeah. But I mean, one thing that's good is that we can tell them like, hey, look, this is what's going on. So if you want, we're not leaving you a bad review. This but would the next ruin, person could. This would ruin someone's vacation if they came here with like a ton of family and friends. Yeah. And they were, I mean, we're not even clean freaks. Okay. I mean, look, like, look at my car. Okay. Yeah. I got a French fry in there. It's, it's just about when you are paying for a service, you want good service it's just like when you go to a restaurant you're paying for a dinner you want a good dinner you want good service it's the same thing when you go and stay in an airbnb you're paying for it you want right. what like exactly so i mean i can understand if this place was like twenty dollars a night yeah, we're not going to complain no you know, it wasn't twenty dollars a night oh, these are beautiful gorgeous homes a little newer look at the cliffs like they're just it's insane like even these houses really pretty it's one thing about the ozarks there's some really steep hills it's like mountains on the on the water oh how do you even get to this house uh i think there's like a driveway over here okay oh i see it oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful that though beautiful wow gorgeous missouri is so pretty it's so beautiful this is a little nicer than... I mean, Mansfield was nice. Oh, my God. What? I thought that was a penguin. A penguin? Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because of the hat. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like a penguin mailbox. Please pull me over. Please pull me over. Yo, I just saw a Tesla police officer. I mean, I think that's what I saw. I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. I'm going to drive extra slow. Hopefully, he doesn't... Actually, yeah, I hope he pulls me over. Should I just go super slow? Let's go to the speed limit. I think he's back there. He's kind of creeping. Ah, no, he turned. That's definitely a police Tesla. I ain't never seen that before. Yo, check this out. They actually test the water here. It's so pretty out here. Check out a little fishy. Went that way now. Oh, he's right there. We went to the top. I will say that this water is a lot nicer than behind the house. Like, there was bugs and stuff in it. Like, this looks a lot better. You said it feels like bath water? Yeah, it's so warm. Whoa, that's a big boy right there. 
Oh, hey, mister. Look, he's coming around this way. Found this cool little bridge. It's really hot rails, though. They probably keep it like that so birds don't come in and, and do this right here. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. It's just made out of metal. <gasps> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Do you like a cinnamon bun? I like the bucks. And oh, there's, there's mama. There's <laughs> Come on, Cookie, you got it. Just a couple more steps. Come on. <laughs> so in my last video, I had asked y'all, like if your dog ever drinks a lot of water and then throws it up. And there was a little bit of a miscommunication. People thinking that maybe Cookie may have diabetes. Now, I appreciate everybody reaching out to me on that. Now, a couple months ago, when Cookie was at the vet, she did get tested for diabetes and she was negative. It's not that she drinks a lot of water. I mean, yeah, she drinks water, but the problem with Cookie is she's drinking too fast, if that makes any sense. Like when she drinks water, she's just like, and she doesn't know her limit, so she drinks it too fast. So, I mean, she she's fine with water. She drinks water like any other dog, but sometimes she'll drink it too fast to the point where she throws it up because she drinks, I mean, if anybody drinks water too fast, they're gonna throw it up. And it's crazy because she'll throw it up and then she'll drink some more real fast and then she'll throw that up. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. I think the spiders are holding it up. I mean, they really are, look. Aren't the webs really strong? Oh what? There's so many oh, so you got it. Just skip over that first one. <laughs> I mean, I walked over it earlier. It's so wobbly. Just be careful with those over there because there was some lifting up. I still walked over it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's making so much noise. Change your mind? Want me to walk out there with you? No, I'm okay. Dude, that's awesome. That's a nice boat. You got a little treat there? No, they're the ants. They're all over our forks. This is gross, man. All right, next time we need to bring a can of Raid with us. Okay, so this is what I've been doing with Cookie. Just want to demonstrate how much, well, not how much, how fast. Like, see how she drinks it real fast? And she won't stop. So I gotta like kind of give her some breaks. Okay, you take a break. Take a little, little, little break, Cookie. Let some of that water digest. Okay. Round two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. Okay, okay, okay. I know. I'm sorry. I just wanna. Don't want you to throw up. Okay. Luna, that's Cookie food. Shame on you. Guess I was wrong. Yep. I put some some Omar guys vlogs for little V and the dogs while we go out and venture today. Luna was just growling at herself. Who's that? Who's that, Luna? Who's that? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Let's go back to your other channel. Luna, that's you. There's no dogs on that channel. On the scary videos? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. She'll be fine. <laughs> We're gonna come back to a destroy TV. Oh lordy. Just in case. We're gonna do this. So Luna cannot get to the TV. Don't touch the TV anymore. <laughs> She's never done that. Just wanna show you how dark it is on our way back to our Airbnb. Like it is dark. Just turn these guys off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Mountain, you have lost your mind. Oh my gosh. That is ultra creepy. The woods are always creepy though. Dude, look at this guy doing his like spider web. I don't even know what kind of spider that is, but woohoo! <laughs> Hey, look, Ma, it's a spoiler. Okay, so I have to tell you about the really cool place that Tiff and I 
went to today. I made a separate video. I'm kind of on the fence where I'm gonna be uploading it if I should upload it as a vlog. It's not, it's not a haunted video, it's more of an explore, but it's a super interesting place. So a place in Oklahoma that used to be an actual town that is no longer a town anymore as of 2009. And what made this town popular in its day was the same reason that it became a ghost town in 2009. I went to this place. It was creepy because like, it's like, wow, like people used to come here and this town is known to be the most toxic in all of North America, probably in the top three in the world of toxic places. And it was because of their lead and zinc mining, mainly the lead. And they created these uh, giant mountains of what they call chat now, which is like leftover rocks you know from the mining operations and when the wind blows all this lead and contaminants go out into the atmosphere into the environment and it was causing a lot of kids to get sick about half the kids got lead poisoning and i mean it was bad lead poisoning a lot of health problems it's super bad okay but that's not the worst of it so being that they were mining underneath like all all of this town and going crazy mining it, it created sinkholes so i mean at any given moment i mean even while i was there i was scared that i may fall into a sinkhole i'm driving like my big heavy truck and going through these roads now they have some roads blocked off where maybe some of these sinkholes have happened already but i mean it was still dangerous but we went there today and we filmed an entire video i'm gonna kind of share a little bit of just a little something something i did find this one place in there that was super creepy now there was even a whole downtown at one point and a lot of things got demolished of course and there was a big buyout from the EPA when they were trying to like just save the town or at least save its people there was a lot of stubborn people that stayed behind in this town I think it was like maybe maybe 20 people it wasn't a lot like I mean these are the people that stayed behind they were like yeah you can't get me out an F4 tornado tore through the area killing half of those people of the 20, I think it was like eight people that died. So look this place up, it's called Pitcher, Oklahoma. I do have a video that I uploaded to TikTok. It's only like a minute long, of course, but I, I made a more thorough, cool, like little, I mean, kind of like a little documentary video. I'm still working on it. I got a lot of editing to do, but it's super cool. And I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you. I don't know, like I said, if I should put it on this channel or, you know, my scary channel. Let me know here in the comments because I, I kind of started doing the scary videos from exploring and I do have some videos that are not haunted based but they're more of history and exploring places and like abandoned places. This place is definitely intriguing because it was this habitable town at one point. If you enjoyed today's vlog, if you did, smash that like button. It lets me know that your boy Omar is doing a good job and you're enjoying my content. Even if you don't maybe have time to leave a comment, at least leave a like it helps me out also i am still taking intros i haven't had any new intros in a long time so if you want to be featured on one of my upcoming vlogs drop an intro i got emails down below just you know real quick hey this is so and so from you know missouri and you're watching the omar oh gosh vlogs but what's really important is just knowing where you're from and where you're watching and seeing that beautiful smile and at the end of that intro saying give me kiss peace